fans want to know, where have you been? Oh, girl, I've been in the studio. Um, I wasn't able to release an official album for a long time, so I was releasing mixtapes and staying connected with my fans via social media. But I had to sue my former record label and uh, took a long time and a lot of money. <laughs> it yeah. sucked, yeah. Well, how have your fans and you evolved from when you started out at 13 and now you're a young adult in the music industry? I feel like we've grown up together, quite literally. So, you know, I started out my career at 13, putting out Leave Get Out and I hadn't been kissed. I had, hadn't had a boyfriend, but I was singing about love and loss and leaving somebody and kicking them out. And now I've actually done those things. So it's from a place of experience. And um, I think I'm having more fun this time around because I, I know how special it is to be able to get out there and live your dream. Well, tell us about your latest album and you're working with Wiz Khalifa on your latest single. Yeah, so the first single off my new album is called No Apologies. It's with Wiz and the album is called Mad Love and it's something I'm very proud of. Mad Love is about all different types of love, which is my favorite thing to sing about. It's what inspires me. So all types of love from self-love and lack thereof. It's about family. It's about loss. It's about... Um, Having fun. And I realized that I did do nothing wrong. What you want from me? I was sorry if I really did. It's, um, there's a lot of catchy stuff. There's also stuff to get you in your feels. So I'm going to be touring off this album and also doing some throwbacks early next year. And I'm just really excited to be moving on, you know. Where can fans follow you? It's I am Jojo on Instagram and Twitter and I am Jojo Snap on Snapchat. I'm weird, so if you're ready for it, follow me. <laughs>